Okay, so in this video, we're going to replace the voltage regulator. I see in the, uh, this is the Sony SLH of 400. This thing, um, I repaired and it was working and then, uh, now the voltage regulator had failed uh, due to a power surge. So, the voltage regulator failed because of that power surge. So we need to reinstall it. Now I've already got the power supply out. The reason why I put the lid back on and put the screws on it is because I've already took the power supply out and I'm waiting for the chip. And now I've received the chip, so now I can take the top off, after we put the chip in the power supply, we'll take the top off, put it in, put the top back on. But I didn't want to lose the screws. And as you can see, there's no power supply. So let me show you the power supply. So what I'm going to do is put this machine out of the way, and we're going to work on the, I have the power supply over here. Well, let me show you what's so the voltage regular IC switch is right here so we're gonna go ahead and replace this and once we replace that that will give us our power back okay so first thing you want to do is take your screws out then you want to clean off the old uh, heat sink compound and make sure your chip is cleaned on the other side as well, which it is. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is get my soldering iron hot. And then we're going to use a, I'm going to use what's called a solder sucker or a solder pump. Basically, when I heat up the solder and my solder sucker will suck it up into the cylinder like that so you push it down like that and while you're melting the solder you put it up to the area you pull that button and it sucks the solder up in there so I've cut the regulator away from the board because what I want to do is I'm going to heat up the leads and suck as much solder into this as I can um, and then the rest of the way what I'll do is have a pair of pliers and I'll grab a hold of the pin and I'll get it heated up and then it'll come out and it's gonna take a while for me to do this but I found that for me this is the best way is to go ahead and just chop off the chip get rid of the heavy part of it and you know heat it up and just pull the pins out one by one the new one is soldered in and the next thing we gotta do is put some heat sink compound on it and uh, we'll put it back in here screw it down we'll put our power supply back together we'll put it in the machine before you put the voltage regulator and screw it back on make sure you get a nice even coat of heat sink compound um, and as you can see I put a little bit here and there I'm just using my finger here and just rubbing it in and just make sure you got a nice even coat of that stuff and uh, you don't want to put too much but uh, you just want to make sure you have a nice even all the way all the way around okay guys so we got the power supply back in i've got it all hooked up so we'll just uh now uh let's turn it around and let's get up what i'm gonna do is turn it around here and we'll plug it in here Okay, let's plug it in and see if uh, see if there's any difference. 
Uh, all right, let's see if it'll work because I wasn't sure if it was the voltage regulator. Oh well, it could have done more damage than just the voltage regulator. So if it doesn't come on, then that means we have some more issues in the power supply. So let's just see if it comes on. Um, it should, but like I said, it could have more problems than just the voltage regulator I see, but... Put this down for a second while we plug it in. Looks like it's resetting itself. Okay, let's see what happens. I would say that that is affirmative. That is working. So let's put a tape in and let's just, oh wow, we have channels here too, so. Um, let's get the, let's see, switch that to, um, line, a line instead of tuner. There we go, it's on line now. Okay, so I did a pretty damn good job, I would say. So, I'm glad that that new voltage regulator works. So. Okay, so, I'm going to eject it here. Uh, I'm going to hook up, let me hook up some cables. Um, let me hook up some cables here. I'm going to hook up to my 1000 here. We'll just use the front jacks on the SLH of 1000. Yeah, Alright. So I didn't do too bad. I was worried about this not being able to work because the trace actually on the board, half of the trace was broken. The trace where you solder on there was a tiny, tiny portion of uh, the contact that was still able to make contact. So I soldered it in and it was able to still make contact. But some of the trace, like half of the trace on the board uh, got ripped off when I was taking the old one out. But I was like really scared because I'm like, well crap half of the traces broke off so it may not work now so that's what i was like really really worried and you can hear it in my voice so i was like okay let's see if it goes because i don't know if it will because of that trace but because i still had somewhat of a trace to solder to you know and obviously it's working so let's get so oh, we'll get my cables. Let's oh, and I know that you wanted to know if this thing. I'll do a recording on this thing too before I before I send it out. We'll do a test recording. Okay, I think the output is right there. Go ahead and hook that up and I'll just, just look at the picture. I don't know, the heads might need cleaned again too. Because I was trying to blow some of the dust off, so I might have to clean the heads again. But I'll clean I'll clean the heads before I send it out to you. Sorry guys, my battery died on me, so basically we've recorded a couple of minutes here on this thing. So let's get it to stop. And we'll just go by the counter here.
And uh, you know what I'll probably do for you? Um, I don't know if I have any more blank cassettes. Um, I have some blank cassettes, but I have most of them I've opened them and I've put um, labels on them, but I haven't recorded on them. So maybe I'll just give you one of those. And, uh, and we'll, uh, that way you can have a couple of them, because it'd be nice. You know, I think it'd be good if you had a couple, couple of tapes that you could record on. You know, you could just play around with this thing and have fun with it. And, uh, anyway, um, hope you, hope you like it. I'll be sending it out here in the next couple of days. Um, so I'm going to go to the post office here in a couple of days. And um, I'll ship it to you, okay? So don't worry. And uh, thank you for being my friend. And thank you for, you know, your friendship means a lot to me. So... See you later, buddy. Bye-bye. And to the YouTube people, see you later as well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just a minute. Before we go, here's our next project. Hold on, let me see if I can pull it out here. This is... This is a Sony. This is an SLHF360. Now, it does work but it has a terrible picture. And the reason why it has a terrible picture is because we need to put, put some new caps in the head amplifier. So we will do that on our next project. This is gonna be one of my next projects that I'm gonna be doing. So we'll probably do that within a, probably the next project. I'll probably do that one. So, but anyway, okay. See you later. Bye-bye.